Okay, so you should know my cousin, Eric. Do you know him? Uh, a little bit, yeah. He swears that driving in Miami is super easy and that you all have no problem getting around. And I'm here to prove him wrong. So we're gonna play a little game called True or No Way Bro. So in Miami, you should always use your turn signal. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be true, right? True. No way, bro. Why is that? You can't let the person in the other lane know what you're trying to do because then they're just gonna cut you off. No <laughs> one there wants to let you in. They're like, no. -uh. Sounds like the racetrack. So the only way to get in is by tricking them and going, oops, here I am. Following the speed limit is super, but like super important. I'd say it's true. I'm gonna go with true on that one. True. Oh, as much as it pains me. True. No way, bro. Okay, it's a free for all. Like, I don't even think the cops follow that rule. Everyone goes whatever speed they feel like, and I'm always like, where are you going? Where are you going, speed racer? They swear they're in NASCAR. I meet them at the red light and I look at them like this. Most of the time, they're just going to Walgreens to buy some nail clippers. <laughs> you should use your horn all of the time for absolutely everything. That's a no way, bro. No way, bro. Yeah, probably. True. I like that answer <laughs> because it's true. You have to let someone know that they have to go. Like, Miami is a very impatient city. People are so slow that you need to let them know, like, go. It doesn't matter if it's green or red. And I'm not talking about a little polite honk. No, it's like, beep. It might be a little rude, but. Rude is like the language of Miami. I have a lot to learn before I go to Miami. You super do. Blasting reggaeton super high when you're stuck in bumper to bumper traffic because everybody's rubbernecking a stupid accident is like a really nice way to share your taste in music with random people. Oh, you can't do that. Not cool. No way, bro. No way, bro. No True. Way. True. Uh, yes. That's what you want to do? My radio was busted once. And I was like, oh my God, thank God that that person is blasting reggaeton. You want to be able to like discover new music. It's like Spotify, but for your car, like in traffic. That's how I discovered Daddy Yankee. Cause the guy next to me was blasting Daddy Yankee. <laughs> and I felt the bass and it was like this magical experience. Tinky, <laughs> tinky, tinky. Thinking. You force everybody else. Yes, you do. You force everybody else, and then they're gonna thank you later. They'll be like, wow, I didn't know about that artist until you blasted it in my face in traffic. I'll have to check out Daddy Yankee, I guess. You should. Last but not least, when it's raining, you should always have your hazards on. No. Yeah, if it's raining really hard, I'll go with that. True. Oh my god, you finally get me. Because <laughs> it's a hazard to drive in the rain. Yeah, Maybe. you're like basically letting everybody know, like, help me, help me, help <laughs> me, help me, help me. I thought that was for emergencies only. Hello, that's an emergency. I don't know, like, you answered almost all of them incorrectly. So I got none of those right. You didn't, um, so I'm a little worried about you. But because you are a driver in NASCAR, you already qualify to drive around in Miami. And because you're already a fast driver, yeah. You're probably gonna do well. Okay, awesome. Well, hopefully so. You guys have a lot of traffic. No, it's like really bad, but as long as you appreciate reggaeton and like, you know, don't use your blinker, you'll be okay. When you're in Miami, I would really like it if you could like pick me up <laughs> and okay. take me to Puerto Rican. That'd be great. Okay. Homestead Miami, here I come. Yay.